Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on with my phone today. It keeps cutting off and I'm not going to start over again. I'm going to try and splice them together, otherwise they'll be two separate videos, okay? So I was on my uh, tomato plant. I'm most impressed with it because most of the brown that was on the plant is now gone. And what I did was I made my own concoction by way of uh, YouTube, which is like the holy grail for almost everything that you want to find out on what to do and how to remedy different situations. So again, I used um, one part Castile soap, water, three parts water, and a little bit of oil. And I just simply sprayed the plant and look at if you look back at the other videos, most of the of the branches, or should I say stems, look like this, which were brown. And now look at how it's it's bounced back. New leaves and everything. See? No more brownness. So we'll see if we can get some more sprouts of tomatoes. Uh Everything is flourishing. It there's so much so that I kind of forget which plant is which. But you guys can just go back. Everything is still in the same spot. I know that this is the edamame, which is really my most troublesome plant that I have out here. Nothing is watered yet. Um, something to brag about. My my uh, garlic clove is now sprouting. You see it there? So I'm really proud about that. We're about to have some garlic, fresh garlic. We have the peppers, which I'm a little confused about because I can't find the answer on YouTube for this part. Do I pick these now that they're green and allow them to ripen on my counter so I don't make the same mistake with the birds like I did with the, um, as I did with the tomato? Because as you see here, they're red or are they supposed to ripen on the vine so that I'm confused about um, we have here uh, another pepper plant which is thriving and then we have more collard greens a different a different strand again and then we have okra there Here are collard greens. We still have our, if you can see, some of the flower is still on the leaves. And our sweet orange plant, which if you look there, we have something sprouting. So I'm happy about that. Our lettuce, yes, they're wilted but I'm waiting for these to grow. So I'll just pull these off. More greens with flower on the leaves to prevent certain types of bugs. Greens again, and then our broccoli. All right. So that is it for today, for this week. I thank you so much for joining me. And we have a few really, really loyal followers, so I really appreciate it. What I've done is instead of posting directly to Facebook, I post to uh, Instagram and then I post it to YouTube. So just click it on Facebook and it'll direct you to YouTube so that I get the YouTube credit, okay? I thank you guys so much, and as I always say, be safe, stay safe, and remember that God is so good. Have a great week, you guys. Bye.